on what the country should expect from current weather forecasts. There was an era of low pressure that uh, crossed the country over the weekend. Um, it produced uh, abundant and water rainfall, especially over northern parts of the country. Um, this system was being monitored at the end of last week for a low chance of development. We expected some rainfall. Um, our predictions were for a very wet weekend. Uh, the exact amount of rainfall that occurred was not predicted. Um, there is what you call extreme events, and this is one of those events. Um, the system currently has moved over southeast Mexico. It was expected to emerge over water, but did not, that did not occur, so it did not develop. Um, currently, we are looking at another system which is now to the east of Belize and again has a low, very low probability of development because of its proximity to land and also because of very marginal conditions um, in the upper atmosphere. What does that mean for, say, Belizeans that don't understand uh, the lingo? Okay, um, what they should expect is that it will continue moist, it will continue cloudy, and we can expect some more showers, thunderstorms, periods of light rain, especially up north, and also um, central areas, including Belize City. Our model guidance uh, generally don't detect extreme rainfall, like 23 inches of rainfall, especially for a system which is not a hurricane, right? So currently for this low-pressure system, we are looking at about three to four inches of rainfall. That is a model guidance. We cannot say for sure that we're not gonna have more rainfall than that. Is there, uh, when is it expected to reach land? Okay, um, indications are that it will cross the country overnight, and then by tomorrow, um, we should start seeing a decrease in activity, and Wednesday should be a transition day between wet and dry, and for the most part, Thursday should be back to mainly fair weather. Stay tuned for more on this low-pressure system in tonight.